is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com and today I have some cards to make for you. It feels like it's been a very long time since I've made a video and in reality it really has been. So I wanted to make some cards. I have a birthday party that I'm getting ready for and um, for my nephew and so I needed to make a card for him and a card for my niece's friend at the same time and then I was asked to make some cards for a PTA so I chose one sketch and I'm making four cards out of that. So let's get started on today's project. I have a lot of stuff here for the four cards. Well, it seems like a lot, but it's really not. So let's quickly go through that. We have Memento Tuxedo Black and Close to My Heart Red. Um, this is Ruby ink. Then from Basic Gray, I use the Shine On paper pad because it has this cupcake in it for a birthday and some other things, which I'll show you the paper when I show you the final cards. And then this is this particular collection, um, Basic Gray made the extra pieces, the embellishments, to go with two different collections. Um, the serendipity and the shine on were similar and so they made the embellishments to go with the same so I used the serendipity and shine on die cut flowers some of these are paper and some of them have more of a canvas fill so I used those and then for the second set I used basic gray again but I used one of my favorites life of the party and you can see I've this is one I keep in a ziploc bag because I have used so many pieces of this I really like this and I actually have a few things that go with the collection. I have these woolies and then these epoxy stickers. And I have some other things that go with the correct collection, but I didn't use it for this project. From All Occasion Messages, I used, I mean, from Hero Arts, I used All Occasion Messages. This is a fun stamp set, and I use it actually quite frequently. I used Hello Friend for one of the cards, and then for the others, I used Happy Birthday. Now, this is kind of a trick. This was actually um, a stamp that said Happy Birthday to a Great Friend because it was a border stamp. So I cut it behind Happy Birthday, and I use it that Happy Birthday a lot when I need to put Happy Birthday in just a small space. And then I pulled out my Operation Right Home sketches. Again, I'm in a hurry, I need to get these done, I have to go to work tomorrow. And so I needed to do a quick sketch. And so this is, I'm using bonus sketch number 21. And so um, I'm going to show you what I've got here. This is an eight and a half by 11 inch card base that was cut in half, um, so it's, um, eight and a half inches wide by five and a half inches and scored in the middle and pulled shut. Now this stamp on the back is just my YouTube and my blog. Um, and it says my my blog name. And um, this paper, I don't know what this is and it's fairly thin, but I found it in my stash so that tells me it's pretty old um, because for the last quite a while, I've kept them in the packages they come in. Then I took a piece of white, because it's dark, always remember that when you're using dark paper, you need to line your card. I like to line it anyway, but you really need to line your card with dark paper because you need to be able to um, write your message and still be able to see it. So um, that's the first part. Then we see here that this piece that we need needs to be two inches by four and a half inches. Um, but our ba this is going to be our first piece of designer paper. And this one is four inches by five and a quarter, and that's going to go on there. And then this one is going to be two by four and a half, and it's going to go right like that. And this is where I stamped the happy birthday, which was perfect for this set. And then this one, this card, I think will be able to be used for either a male or a female. Um, and this is just one that I'm sending to the PTA. So um, this is also all of this paper, all the pattern paper is from the Life of the Party set. This is kind of a wood grain yellow where this one is a wood grain red. And that one was cut at two and a half by three and a half. Now the last element was supposed to be a two inch sticker or circle. And on this card, I think instead of using a two inch circle, I'm going to use this party hat. Okay, so let's set this sketch aside and get that all put together. Um, pretty simple card. I haven't spent a lot of time working on these cards. I, my craft space is a disaster right now. I'll not be kidding you. Um, 
and so it took me a while to be able to get organized um, and plus I had missed about this um, project that my friend had asked me to help her with I didn't I didn't know she asked me to help her several months ago um, as it came closer to Christmas time but I had missed this opportunity I did I wasn't aware of it until just the other day so I'm actually for the most part I found some cards in my stash that I could share but um, since I had to make a couple cards anyway, I decided to make a couple fresh. It's so easy to do that when you're working on a sketch because you can cut all of the components. Now, I'm really mixing up the paper even though I'm keeping it within the collections. But it's just a thought that if you want to do a bunch of cards, um, you know, choose your papers and you could choose one base paper if you had several cards to make you could choose each um, you know an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper or a twelve by twelve sheet of paper and you could cut all of the components and make them all exactly the same and you could really um, get the cards out very quickly that way that's not how I'm doing this one but you could and that would look really great now I'm not loving that let's see if I can pull it up without ruining my card I did not get that straight think we're gonna make it I think we'll be okay ATG sticks really well um, and often you cannot pull it up like I just did you just kind of have to play it by ear and be very careful but once it's been on for a while pulling it up it's going to be very difficult so there we go this is kind of a busy card but it's still fun so we'll set that aside and we'll pull out our epoxy party hat and that's another hint about um, using a sketch. You do not have to go exactly like the sketches. You know, it's your card. It's just kind of a fun um, way to do it. And I think I'm going to have these little pinwheel looking like, um, these little stickers that look kind of like a pinwheel. I think I'm gonna pull those up um, using the rule of threes. Oops, those two are almost the same. Let's see if I can find one that's different. There we go, that one's different. And this one's different. It's just something kind of cute using the rule of threes. I could also put have put them in the corner and that would have been cute too. And then I thought on the inside just to give it a finishing touch because you know how I like to do that. I think I am just going to put a birthday candle right here in the corner, just like that. Okay, so there's our first card. It says happy birthday, and you can see how quickly that went together. And all I had done before was um, my stamping, which took seconds, and um, cut the pieces and chosen the sketch. Now let me show you the rest of them. Um, this is the second one using the same um, set of paper. Now this is the one for my nephew. I'm not, I, this is a, it's kind of busy and there's not a lot of area for your eye to rest, but I think he'll still like it. Um, but that's another thing to keep in mind. They've got a lot of busy patterns. I just did not like the yellow for my nephew. And so that's why I chose to put that, um, little bit busier paper there. But probably if I were to do it all over again I would probably put the yellow I think it would look better I was a little concerned that it would look funny against the brown which is really fun paper but that's okay and I think I'm gonna do the same thing that I did on the other one I'm gonna take one of the epoxy stickers here now with these woolies are really thick so if you are mailing this it's going to have to go you'll probably have to add postage I'm not mailing it it's going it's going to be hand delivered. So there's the second one, happy birthday. And then the the next one is uh, the one for my um, my kids and niece's friend. Um, and this one again says happy birthday and this one's for a female. Now this is where I use the shine on paper and these are the um, shine on and serendipity die cut circles and I, I did add this extra square because it was so busy that I needed to have an extra square in there. Um, and so just 
to break it up. Um, I also, this is where I use the Close to My Heart Ruby Red, was around the edge, just to kind of give it a little bit of depth around the edge, and I left the inside blank. And then the last card that I made is not a birthday card at all, though it's from the same paper pack, um, but this one is where I put the Hello Friend, and it's, again, blank on the inside, so there's plenty of room to send a little happy note to a friend. Um, so there we have them. And at the end, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this um, sticker up if I can. And I think I'm going to pull some of this red paper. No, we're just going to leave it. So thanks so much for stopping by today. And remember, take some time to, have, to enjoy the little things. Have a great day. Bye.